OK, I'm joined here today by Aileen O'Boyle, who is uh, one of the most experienced recruiters uh, at Sigmar. Uh, Aileen, I've recently read that uh, um, right now construction is the industry that actually matters the most because of the fact they did build a lot of hospitals. Is that a trend that you currently see? Yeah, hi Marcel. Um, so yeah, I suppose like no, not not really this year. Um, what I mostly see this year, obviously dealing with, with clients and, and candidates and obviously see a lot of CVs coming across my desk every day. So what I can see from what's happening at the moment, it is a lot of residential this year, where last year would have been very much commercial and, and the same the year. Quite big, large commercial projects. You know, you're talking projects is over 200 million plus, like um, as well too. I suppose data centres would be a big, big area as well. Um, this year, no, not as much in the healthcare. It's mostly residential, social housing, um, you know, apartments, that kind of that kind of um, projects that's on at the moment. I suppose last year would very much seen the likes of the primary care centres. Um, they would have been, you know, nationwide. That, that would have been a big thing. Um, this year, what I do see, if there is any healthcare projects, it is mostly um, extensions um, that's built onto to house or onto hospitals. Like it's it's not, you know, there there isn't. Right. Like I know there is obviously, you know, healthcare projects and that. But yeah, it's mostly extensions that I can see at the moment. Um, and it is mostly on the residential uh, for this year. That seems to be what the the demand is at the moment. OK, and uh, with regards to uh, COVID and how it has affected uh, the construction industry, is, is that is that true that uh, you, the, the industry won't go back to normal until the 2023? God, I, I don't know, Marcella. I can't see it um, with the way like my desk is at the moment. It's, it's pretty busy. Um, so no, look at when like when lockdown like last March, uh, like construction was the last to go. You could say the last to shut down, um, and it was like more or less the, the first to come back. And even during mm -hmm. lockdown, like I mean, there was a lot of sites that that were open, um, because obviously there were there were like essential projects that that was happening. Um, so no, look at like things aren't going to ever. I don't think be back to normal for for a few yeah. years in in a lot of industries. But within construction, no, it's. Um, yeah, look, it's it's pretty much back to normal. Like, obviously, you know, th there is going to be a lot of difference on sites where, you know, it's a lot of, let's say, social distancing. And obviously, I know a lot of um, companies would have done lots of split shifts as well, too. Um, so let's say people would be starting earlier in the day and like maybe people start at six o'clock in the morning, finish at two, then a second shift to come in then from two until maybe eight. So that has happened within the construction industry on sites because obviously for for um, let's say social distancing within the sites. Um, yeah, like I suppose there within construction because obviously it's more outdoors, it's more, it's not a case you can work from home as such within construction. Okay. Um, you know, it's, yeah, I don't see that it has massively been affected, I suppose, with the likes of maybe some projects have been put on hold um, because of with, with COVID and there's a lot of uncertainty. And I suppose within, let's say, um, the likes of, let's say, the hospitality sector, like you have a lot of companies that will have, um, let's say, maybe hotel extensions and, and things like that. They've obviously had to been put on hold this year because obviously the industry isn't as good in hospitality as it was other years. Um, so like the likes of those projects, yeah, are going to be affected big time. Um, but like you've got your, your normal residential projects and commercial projects, office fit outs, things like that. They're they're not going to be affected, I, I don't think. Um, but yeah, maybe within the hospitality. Kind yeah, of projects, you've you've uh, mentioned right. you've mentioned there a lot that like everything is on site on site, uh, but is there any any part of the work that can be done off site? Wouldn't that increase long term? Yeah, um, well, I suppose like most um, like most industries now, like there is the flexibility there now for working from home, but you've got construction then, like you have health and safety, so to have a health and safety officer on site to make sure that there's nothing like make sure everything's working right and there's obviously going to be no accidents or anything like that and then you have to have like a COVID compliance officer then on site as well so the likes that role no that can't be really done working from home but I, I suppose there is the flexibility of let's say you know a day maybe or a half day that you can work from home or you know like maybe 
there from home. But yeah, these jobs, you have to be on site. Like, I mean, I suppose maybe with the likes of health and safety injunctions, you know, they can be given, you know, through Microsoft Teams or, or Zoom, like, you know, that, that type of way. But yeah, health and safety officers really have to be on, on, on site kind of to see what's happening. Um, site managers, again, the same. They have to be there because they have to manage the site. Uh, project managers, again, you know, they have to be, be on site as well. But yeah. like part of their job can be working from home as well, maybe a day or two in the week, because obviously a lot of them is office based. Document controllers, yeah, they can be, you know, can, can work from home. It's it's an admin role and um, site admin as well. But then again, they do need as well too to be on site. Engineers, set out engineers have to be there. You know, yeah. so it is like I suppose there is the flexibility and I do see a lot of, let's say, my clients, you know, they, they do, you know, have flexibility there and um, maybe on Fridays, you know, if maybe finish early on a Fridays, things like that, maybe work a, a morning from home. But yeah, look at all the, the construction yeah. modes are mostly, you know, um, working on site. BIM, BIM coordinators like obviously can, can yeah, work sense. from home because it's, it's office based. But yeah, I think yeah, I see I see a trend within other industries that are uh, uh, People are looking into the temp, temp and contracting side. Mm -hmm. Is that something that a construction sector looked at as well, or? Yeah, I suppose in regards to let's say the temp and, and contractors. Now I've been speaking to a lot of my clients um, in the last while in regards to let's say contractors, and I've been kind of trying to push it with them as well, because I look at the fact of let's say you know there's a lot of uncertainty there with with a lot of companies in regards to maybe getting projects started for maybe next year and that, and you know a lot of candidates are afraid as well to to move because obviously they're uncertain, and you know I suppose they don't want things to go back to you know the time of the the crash going back uh, 2008 like they don't want that to happen again so people are more, a lot more careful Um, I suppose within like the likes of contractors and temps yeah it's it's great for one reason you know if there's a project that needs to be finished and um, that you know companies aren't committing to taking someone on permanently that obviously you know there there is the the, the temp there that if they need someone for for a couple of weeks general officers or anything like that they'll obviously yeah you know they can get them um contractors is is a great thing as well because you might need uh, a client of mine might need a, a project manager um Plenty of project managers out there, especially people that come from overseas, are actually more into the contracting because obviously the, the money is, is obviously better as well. But um, with the contractors, um, you know, they, they start on a project here that might need for three months. You know, yeah. that's the three months. If it's a case, if, if there's a lockdown or anything like that, you know, when the project stops, that's it. The contractor stops as well. Do you know? So the companies yeah, aren't the getting... There, yeah. yeah, they're not. They're not obviously putting that expense on themselves um, as well. So look at, yeah, it's, it's, I can see that being a trend in, in you know, maybe in the next couple okay. of months and into next year. Um, but obviously there is going to be still the permanent roles there. Like, they're, like you're always going to need site managers, site yeah, engineers. Yeah. But I think for the higher end scale of, let's say, um, you know, project managers and quantity surveyors, they're going to be more on the contra contractor side. And then you have your temps then, which would be like your, your general operatives, your um, teleporter drivers, all them. Like, I mean, obviously they're going to be more on, on like the temporary side. So yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of what I can see. Do you know, maybe I could make it wrong. That's but... like, like, no, a great insight there. Uh, so what would be the two or three hottest jobs that you're currently recruiting for? Two or three. You want to put a few zeros after that, Martha. <laughs> I actually have a pretty, pretty um, busy desk at the moment. Like I mostly deal like a lot of the accounts that I have at the moment are like with civil and build contractors. Um, so like it's nationwide. Um, like I cover like nearly every county um, in Ireland. So. And I have at the moment is like as always quantity surveyors, um, senior, uh, intermediate, and junior, um, both for civil and bills. Um, you know, it's yeah, it's very very hard to get um, quantity surveyors. Um, so yeah, look at even graduates. I'm even looking for graduates, people that's just out of, out of college or people that's done maybe six months placement during college. Consider them even not even any any experience at all. Um, so yeah, the quantity surveyors be top of my list. And um, the next one then would be setting out engineers. I'm looking um, for setting out engineers in not so much Dublin actually. Um, so kind of this month I've noticed kind of the Midwest and the West of Ireland is kind of where I'm looking for the setting out engineers at the moment. Uh, junior engineers, both for civil um, build as well. Um, as well, I have demand for health and safety. Um, uh, advisors, 
both senior and kind of intermediate. So kind of my senior level roles I have at the moment, one particular role I'm looking for um, a senior health and safety advisor with main build experience um, preferably 10 years experience. But this role would be traveling like to various various locations um, in around Dublin um, and then the same with the um, health and safety um, advisor role. I'd be looking like three, three plus years experience again, various sites. Um, yeah, uh, document controllers busy, busy, seems busy. to be, yeah, it's a very, very busy document controllers as well, site admin, I would have had to, you know, a lot of um, requirements for, for those as well. Um, and as well to site agents, site managers. Um, yeah, so look, it's just all around Marcel and I am crying out for, for, for them all. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely, really, so, definitely. yeah. So, uh, yeah. What so will be your contact nice. details if people would like to send you a copy of their CV? Yeah, absolutely. So my email address is aoboyle at sigmar.ie and my direct landline number is 0906 413 973 and you can feel free to connect in with me on uh, on LinkedIn as well too. I know you to tag me in a lot of stuff as well too, Marcel, on, on LinkedIn. So <laughs> if you can't find me, I'm sure yeah, I can see what's going on. I don't have time. I don't have time um, on LinkedIn. I had to try and do uh, do my best every week, but yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's been very hard. But uh, yeah, look, at, I've, look, at, I'm open to talk to to all candidates, all levels. Um, you know, uh, recent yeah. graduates, intermediate, senior, like everyone. Get in contact. Perfect. <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you Absolutely as always. Pleasure, as always and yeah. have, a, have a great day, okay? Thanks yeah, very you much. too. Thanks Thank you. Cheers. Bye.